two different ways today. That was the first one. Okay, so weird song to teach. Um, I want to do this two different ways today. Um, I don't love doing these um, these lessons with the capo um, that he plays on that little Valette guitar because um, it just doesn't even remotely do the song that much justice. But um, but I promised everybody that I would do all these songs, so I want to get them done. Um, but uh, the man, it is just it's so hard to to replicate that that awesome sound of that little black guitar, especially on Idea of You. Um, we could pull it off decently on Shotgun, but Idea of You is just such a full, just has such a full sound on that song um, that, you know, that's, this is kind of the cheap way of doing it. But anyways, uh, I want to do it two different ways, specifically because when we put it on the fifth fret, it's a little easier to play. You have a lot, you know, you have this much room as opposed to pulling it down to the 10th where you have that much room to move your fingers, especially if you don't have a cutaway guitar. Um, if you have a full body right here, man, I mean, good luck with it. So I like to play it this way when I'm just kind of sitting around, just, just jamming, just kind of playing along with the song or whatever. I like playing it this way because um, it gives it a pretty full sound. Um, the, um, the part down here, sounds probably more like the actual version of the song and like that actual black guitar sounds when you pull it up here. Just FYI, just um, do it however you want. Um, like I said, this, this just seems to be a little bit easier down, uh, down here on that fifth fret. So we're gonna start off with that little, uh, the, the way it sounds on Come Tomorrow it has the, the live intro. And um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our uh, middle finger up here on the A string and I'm gonna name the frets um, from, you know, in relation to the capo. So we'll be on the third fret, and we'll be on the A string. You're gonna keep your uh, forefinger down here on that B string on the first fret. Okay, I'll come up a little closer on this one. So. Okay, so we're just gonna be kinda, this'll just be our, you know, our bass note up here. And we're gonna be coming down here on these, on the uh, uh, third fret and the fifth fret. Okay, so all I'm doing is just hitting that bass note, three, five, bass note, three, five. go through that three times and on the fourth time you're gonna hit that and then climb back down to um, I'm sorry you're gonna go um, five three one three okay so we'll go through that one more time bass note three five That's gonna be, that right there is gonna be the exact same thing that we're gonna do in the chorus, okay? So, um, 
So from there, we're gonna go to um, the little part right here that goes into the, uh, the actual verse. And what I'm doing right here is I'm, I have my ring finger up here on the third fret on the E string. And we're on the third fret on the high E down here. I have this four finger right here on the B string on the first fret. And see right there, you're kind of getting that little valet sound there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come over here. And I'm going to put a uh, four finger on the first fret E string, middle finger on the uh, first fret on the B string and that pinky is going to come over here So actually, you know, you're still keeping the same chord shape here uh, It's just going from here. These are the only ones you're switching on that are the you're going from the third fret to the first fret, okay? And then we go into that little climb, okay? Uh, so again go into that climb. Okay, so we're climbing up open, and then two, and then three, five, seven. And uh, so then, like I said, what we did earlier is pretty much the exact same thing we're doing in the chorus, okay? But watch the bass notes. They're going to switch a little bit. So we're still back on this again. Okay, so that's the, that through the first time there. Then we're going to bring this finger up here to that second fret. So we're going from the third to the second. All right? Then we're gonna come back up to the third, and we're gonna do that little, that you're going. Okay, so we'll go all that again. And then we'll be back here again. And that's where you hear, uh, you hear the horns come in right there and go burr, burr, burr. Or sorry, bah, bah, bah. Uh, keyboards, horns, all that stuff kind of comes in, and that's where you hear it. Other than that, this part that he plays is really um, pretty subdued in the background. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of the basis of that, and then um, then kind of the bridge. You're basically just going to be sitting. Sitting on that first chord that leads into that um, that leads into the the little uh, climb. So just sitting there on that. Okay. Um, so I want, like I said, I had broke this down two different ways. So let's jump into real quick. We'll jump jump into the tenth fret portion of this. Again, this is not another part of the song or anything like that. It's just the same song. I just want to show you guys two different ways, okay? And again, this is the one that sound I think sounds a little more like that little uh, valet. So we'll see whichever one you like better. So uh, we're going to be here on the third fret on that A string, and then we're going to be down here, go on the G string, going from the uh, fourth fret to the second fret. And then when we're coming up here to do the get into that little climb, that is, you're on a C shape, a very close C shape, right here. Um, 
three. We're on the third fret, fourth fret, and the fifth fret here, okay? And then we're just gonna put our fingers up here in kind of like that uh, that shape that he uses. He uses this quite a bit on like uh, Warehouse Satellite 34. Um, that right there. So we're on third, fifth, and the seventh on the A, the D, and the G strings. Okay, so we'll go from here. Climb. We're doing the same thing we did down here on that fifth fret. We're going, uh, but we're on the E string, so we're going open, and then the uh, second fret, third fret, fifth fret, seventh fret. And then we're going. Sorry. So, like I said. You definitely, on that note, get more of that valet sound than you do when you're down here on the fifth fret. Again, it is just so much easier to get your fingers moving down here. Um, so, uh, uh, so once we get into the chorus, like I said, we're doing the same thing we did down here. So we're gonna start off um, right here on the third fret. And you're going. But I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're going here on that third fret. We're down here again on that uh, G string, going from the fourth to the second, and then the second to the fourth. And then that bass note changes. Okay, so we're coming down here, uh, A string, we're on that second fret. Or sorry. Okay, then you're gonna come back up here again, and you're gonna go. And that's the one again where I explained down here where you hear the horns go. And uh, oh, I forgot on the other one, I'll show you all also. The very ending, we're gonna go. Sorry, yeah, that's what it does on this. Okay, so all we're doing is just a little, little walk down on that A string. We're gonna go from three to two and then off. And we're gonna go three, two, off on the E string, and then we're gonna end on that little C-shaped chord that is part of the verse, okay? Sorry. Okay, and when you're playing that on the fifth fret, you're just gonna be down a string on all these I'm from three to two to zero. And then we're ending on this one. Okay. So like I said, that it is so hard to, to really um, to really do that song justice, uh, just for the fact that it is such a good song. And um, it's just, it's tough to get that cool valet sound, um, you know, with, with a six string and a capo. So anyways, but hope this was informative to you um, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching.